My name is Anirban Deb. I am Director of Trade and Investment for Agribusiness in the Australia South Asia team based out of New Delhi in India. And today I have with me Mr. Ben Watts, Director of Bralka Proprietary Limited based out of Molong, New South Wales in Australia. Ben is an expert sheep farmer and a specialist in breeding and management. Today we have the pleasure of having Ben with us to talk to us about his experience of doing business in India and what were his key learnings. This project has been 10 years in the making. We just thought it was the right time to build on Australia's solid background in sheep and goat breeding. Uh, but also, more importantly, it's a market that's just got huge global demand and really, you know, looking at India's domestic demand, it's a very strong position and it was the right time to get the protocols in place. We really tried to start with looking at what the customer wanted. So our projects were focused on delivering to, to state government projects. It was uh, with the assistance of Austrade that we could get uh, the initial meetings up and going. But by getting those uh, protocols in place and the first three successful uh, deliveries at 100% uh, survival rate into the northern states, hopefully it's just the start of a, uh, a long-term project because this is the early stage of something that we can see is going to grow. The biggest thing is uh, that it's very different to other markets that we work in. Working with the Indian market, it's all about relationships. Uh, my suggestion to other people would be if they haven't already got an agent on the ground in India, really need to engage with a, an agent with uh, trust and similar values, but also an agent with some runs on the board, some, some experience. And then to understand that any business into India, it's the long game, but we found that building those relationships and really just working on the fact that you, you're dealing with individuals and it's going to be a long-term relationship. Austrade facilitated some meetings in New Delhi and then some uh, other regional meetings within India. The other final thing I would say is for Australian companies to reach out and work with Austrade. Uh, Austrade's there to facilitate and guide uh, our businesses. And without that uh, sometimes frank and honest guidance, it's very easy for us to start to move off track.